Dear students, how are you? I think you are safe and sound. Today, I will teach you English first paper, English for today of class 7, unit number 6 and lesson number 7. My dear students, teaching here, I cannot but remember some incidents in my boyhood when I lived in my village. Walking in the paddy field, walking in the garden and walking on the bank of the river gave me pleasure. Playing in the moonlit night, playing in the field also gave me pleasure. But most important and most excited moment in my life was the moonlit night which we enjoyed in the yard. Dear students, you will be glad to hear that a moonlit night is very exciting and very interesting for the villager. Everybody comes out from their house and sat on the yard and they go see. In this time, people go here and there. Even the birds sing song in a moonlit night. Dear student, it is always evergreen in my life. Today, I will teach you a lesson. The title of the lesson is Under the Full Moon. Under the Full Moon. Dear students, before going to my lesson, there are some new vocabularies here. First, relax. 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 Feeling easy. Number two, love one's head off. Laughing loudly. Loud. Number three, delicious. 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 Tasty.
test tube. Number four, excited, excited. Feeling happy. Feeling happy. Miss. The last, the last is this. Of emotion. Number five. Delight. Delight. Flavor. Number six. Bawaya. One kind of folk song. So, the students, we have six new vocabularies. Relax. Feeling easy, laugh once head off, laughing loudly, delicious, tasty, excited, feeling happiness, or the last stage of emotion, delight, pleasure, bow and one kind of folk song. Dear students, we have learned some new vocabularies. Now, I shall read out the passage and you will hear me. Okay, dear students. Now I can start my reading. It was Jisang's grandparents' house in the village. The night sky was clear. The full moon was shining brightly. All the family members had delicious supper and sat in the yard, Zisa's cousin, Zahid and Shima were very excited. They are the same as they were also studying at a village school. Their grandparents gladly enjoyed them. They were sitting on a bamboo mat. Everybody felt relaxed. They were talking, laughing, and joking. The children's voices were the loudest. Zahid described how he played for his school in the Ubudula Inter School Tournament. What sports do you take for him? Zisan asked Zahid. Zishan could not answer. There was no playground in his school and around his house. Shima told them how she won the first prize for 100 meter sprint in her school Edward sports. She sang a beautiful bhavaya. Everybody clapped their hands in delight. Zishan's aunt Mrs. Zahanara Khan told some funny jokes that made them laugh their head off. The family gathering went on far into the night. Dear students, I have read out the passages. We have learned a lot of things which 
actually happens in our village in a moonlit night or under the full moon. Actually, a full moon night comes to the village right? with a message of joy, excitement and happiness. It removes our tension and increases our joy. If anyone go to village and enjoy a moonlit night, he cannot forget this event up to death, I think. Even all the poets enjoy the moonlit night and perish a moonlit night. Dear student, we have learned a lot of things. Now we have some question and multiple choice here. Now, first, what made Jahid and Shima excited here? The shining of the full moon, meeting with their cousins, sitting on the mats, delicious supper. So, I think answer is the shining of the full moon. Everybody was feeling relaxed. This means everybody was wearing nice clothes, talking and enjoying themselves, having no work to do, sitting under the full moon. Here answer is talking and enjoying themselves. Jishan could not reply to Zahid's question, what is course do you take part in because he does not like sports, his school does not organize any sports, sports are not part of examinations, his parents don't like sports. Here answer is his school does not organize any sports. Julie's aunt's funny jokes made everybody laugh their head off. Here, laugh their head off, meaning laughing slowly, moving their heads loudly with a headache. Answer is loudly. So, their students, uh, we have learned some answer of the multiple choice. Now, I will give you homework. Do like
Why do you like or not? This fight. Number three. How do the letter how does the letter look? Now, write a paragraph I'm studying the following question. Answering the every question. Then students, we have first question. Do you like a full moon night? Next, why do you like it or not? Give five reasons. How can 
Do you enjoy this night? How does the nature look? Why do poets like this night? Now write a paragraph answering the above questions. Dear students, this is your homework. And I think everybody feel pleasure and you will do your homework and you will stay at home and you will be very attentive to your studies. Thank you dear students.